First of all, guys, congratulations on a great fight. I'm curious, um, everyone's saying in the lead up to this, oh, it was going to be a war. Was it exactly that for Eddie first? Was it the war you were expecting? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we matched up really well. I think we both knew that. Even in the lead up, uh, we both said it would end, and uh, neither one of us said who would end it. <laughs> uh, I was careful of saying uh, that I, I wouldn't end him, and I think he was the same because he knew uh, at any minute either one of us could catch each other. And um, I just want to say something about, like, I, I was declared the winner tonight, yeah, but um, I would have been totally fine with a draw, and I think the idea when two fighters get inside of a cage is not to win, but win the crowd, and I think we did that tonight. So we we won you guys. You know? yeah. All right, I think we have. He wants to hear from Chad as well. He said the, the same question. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, and I'm just curious. Obviously, like Connor was there. You both have your history with Connor. There's one point I think you even pointed at him after landing an uppercut, Eddie. I thought he yelled uppercut for me to do it. He did. But I I thought I, I heard overheard that he was helping him. So I don't. I uh, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I think he was playing both sides. I don't, yeah. I, yeah. All right, we have more questions over here. Eddie, uh, you said something on the microphone after your fight. You said that you have no doubt in your mind that this is going to be the biggest sport in the world. Uh, can you speak on that a little bit and send a message to the rest of the fighters out there who are thinking about coming over to Bare Knuckle? Yeah, I, I say that because when you look at every sport and the evolution of every sport, uh, uh, basketball started a, a shot clock and um, even football started, they started to wind things down and, and shorten up the play to make it more action packed. And I even felt that in there today, Chad would drop me. Um, and I was able to recover and able to keep it exciting because it's only 10 minutes. It's so difficult to fight for five, five minute rounds. And everybody who ever fought for a long period of time knows how big of a feat that is. It's so ridiculous. So to shorten it up to two minutes makes it more action packed, more feasible. I think the fans win. I win. Chad wins. We all win when we only got to fight for two minutes, you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the ring's so small. I mean, you, like I said, I kept saying that in all the interviews leading up to this. Like, you have no choice but to be in each other's face. Like, <laughs> there's no running anywhere. You're swinging. You're standing in front of each other and just winging them. So, um, yeah, man, that was that was a cool fight. I'm, I'm glad that that was the one that I get to go out on. Obviously, I would have liked a, a, a win, but if it was uh, going to be any way that I would, outside of a win, that's the way. All right, another question from the media right over here. Chad, after the fight, you retired. Did you know coming in that you were going to retire, and when did you make that decision? Yeah, I've been going back and forth with this. I mean, obviously, I retired from the UFC back in 18, and I honestly was done. You know, I've been pouring my heart and soul into a, a few businesses and just spending the, the quality family time that I've, you know, that I love doing. So I had no desire, but, you know, something like this came up and obviously the pay is really damn good and it's something that's new which kind of excited me so I did it um, and kind of you know I, I was done after that first one and then they they dangle somebody like this dude in front of me and I'm like all right fuck, I'll, I'll do one more this could be the retirement fight but I honestly was just kind of taking it fight by fight I said that before too before the fight um, but man I just I don't need to be doing this shit anymore man it's it's fun, but I feel like at this point I'm just being selfish, man. I got a good, I got a solid family that loves me, and you know I got, I got other things in the works that I can just pour my heart and soul into and, and be successful at. So, uh, but man, that was a hell of a fight. It sure was, man. We got another one right here. Eddie, I know the wounds are still fresh, but is this something that you want to do again? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be fighting again. Um, and, and I'm I say this because um. This training camp for me was like, I wanted to try something new. This is something new for me. It's, I, I, I never did this before. But when you take away the wrestling and you take away the kicks and the knees and the elbows, I know my face looks like this, but this is going to go away in two weeks. Um, the training camp was so like, I don't know, it's so much more enjoyable than an MMA training camp. And when it, Chad would know this and guys who do MMA know this, the training camp for bare knuckles like so enjoyable. Um, I, I had a lot of fun. My coaches had a lot of fun learning the nuances of this sport. And um, I just, you know, I took a shot, try something new. And uh, more, more importantly, I did it because I got Chad. I was gonna sit, 
for as long as I needed to sit before I got an opponent where fans were really excited about. And I got the opponent, and uh, and I think uh, it showed tonight why, you know, this is why I took the fight, because of what happened tonight. All right, we have two more questions, and we'll get you guys out of here for Eddie and Chad. I got a question for Chad. Iconic walkout, you know, I remember when you walked out against Conor McGregor, the band. Uh, I got the feels. I got the feels tonight again. Nice. Could you talk about your walkout tonight, your last one? Uh, iconic walkout. I'm sure many, many fans are sad tonight because it's your last uh, one. Man, I'm sorry about that, but God, that felt so damn good, man. No, knowing that most likely that this was going to be my last fight, I was trying to soak that in as much as I could. Getting up there with all that smoke and just looking out on the crowd and listening to Country Boy by Aaron Lewis. Yeah, I, I got a bit of the feels too. It was pretty cool, man. It was, it's definitely something I won't forget. All right, last one over here. Hey, Eddie, it's, uh, hey, hey, Eddie, hey. Um, <laughs> hey, it's Cullen with uh, the Combat Sports Happy Hour. Hey, man, um, it seemed like you, I had you winning some of the later rounds and at, definitely at least doing better. Was uh, uh, conditioning, was that like, I know like part of that comes with so many years of fighting, but another part of it is how you uh, prepared for this. How was your um, training camp as far as the uh, uh, strength and uh, conditioning aspect of it? I don't, I, I, I get a lot of slack online. I don't lift a lot of weights. Um, I, I've been built naturally my whole life. Um, I've never been into any enhancements. I just I, I lifted weights when I was younger, and I kept a good build like throughout my. I don't do a lot of strength conditioning. Um, I did a lot of boxing for this because I get worried when I lift weights that I'll tighten up, so I don't lift a lot of weights. Um, that's all I could say. I don't do much strength conditioning. Not a lot of it. Not as much as damn fucking Chad. That's for sure. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like he got a turtle shell on his back. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. That does it for Chad and Eddie. Give it up for the fight of the night. What a battle. Give it up for Chad Mendez. What a wonderful career. Eddie Alvarez, hell of a debut, man. Two wars.